So this is number four for the second test. And this one you have to learn, you have to show that you understand how to read graphs. So let's tell the story here about this guy named Robert. Robert sells four different flavors of jam. Jam is the same as jelly. So he sells blueberry, grape, peach, and strawberry. So he sells these four different flavors of jam at an annual farmer's market. The graph above shows the number of jars of each type of jam or jelly he sold at the market during the first two years. So the first year he sold 10 jars of blueberry jelly jam and then the second year he sold it looks like to be about 18. And the way you can be for sure is you can put a piece of paper there and you can see that it goes right there. So 18, 19 and then goes up to 20. But you don't really have to be that exact for this problem, but you can. So anyway, so which flavor of jam had the greatest increase in number of jars sold from year one to year two? So let's point at what's going on here. So you can see that the first year, year one, he sold 10 and then the second year he sold 18. So you can see this area here is the amount of increase. The next year, this, now well, let's look at grape jelly. So the first year he sold 25, and then the second year he increased five jars from 25 to 30. Now for peach, he did, this looks like an eight. Let's just be sure. Yep, so he sold eight jars of peach the first year, and then the second year he sold 12. So he went from eight to 12. And then this was a weird one. On For strawberry jelly, he sold 35 jars in the first year, and then the second year he only sold 20. So he went from 35 down to 20. So I guess the people that bought it the first year, they tasted it, they didn't like it, and then when they came back the next year, they say, I'm not buying that, it was terrible. So this is a decrease. So we know right away that it's not going to be strawberry. So strawberry is not the right answer because it decreased, and they're looking for increase. So here it went up, went up, and we went up. Now, visually, what you do is you look to see which of these gaps is the largest. So I can see right away that this is the biggest gap. So I know it's blueberry. But if it wasn't so noticeable, like these two are kind of similar, you can just do the subtraction to see which of them is the correct answer. So let's do that real quick. So let's look at peach. Peach sold eight the first year, and then the second year sold 12. So I'm going to do 12 minus eight. 12 minus eight is four. So this is peach. Then for grape, we had 25 the first year, and then the second year old Robert sold 30. So 20, 30 minus 25 is 5. So this is grape. And then the last one, he sold 18 on the second year and then 10 on the first year. So 18 minus 10 is 8. So obviously blueberry is the winner. So bar charts, you just have to just, sometimes it's very obvious the increase or in this case decrease. This is where they would trick you up because here we're showing that it went up. The trick is that sometimes people would say, oh, the gap is biggest there, so therefore that's the right answer. But here it's not an increase. It's not this. This is a decrease. It goes down. So that's not what they're looking for.